Describe the nature of the image shown in these three cases. We've got a plane mirror, a convex lens, and a concave lens. In each case, the solid arrow is the object, and the dotted arrow refers to the image. So let's do the first one, which is a plane mirror. Part A, plane mirror. OK, well, we've drawn two rays of light from a single point on the object, and they will be reflected at the surface of the mirror. The angle of incidence will be equal to the angle of reflection, and this is our reflected ray. Same thing with the other ray, there's our reflected ray. And we can see that the two rays are diverging, they're going apart. So if somebody was looking at, at this situation, then they would see the two rays, the eye would bring those rays to a focus at the retina, and it would track back and appear that these two rays have actually come from a point behind the mirror. And so this is our image. Here's the object, and here's the image. So let's look at the vocabulary to describe this image. First of all, it's upright, upright. Secondly, it's the same size. It is also virtual. It's not actually there, it's an illusion. The eye thinks it's behind the mirror because it's tracking those rays back and appear to come from a single point, uh, which the eye thinks is the tip of the arrow. The other thing about a plane mirror is that the image that you see is laterally inverted. So that means if you stand in front of a mirror and raise your right arm, then the image of you will appear to be raising their left arm. So everything is back to front, and that's what laterally inverted means. Okay, let's move on to part B which is a convex or converging lens. Again, we've got the object, two rays of light from a single point on the tip of the object. The first ray is parallel to the principal axis, so that means it's going to refract through the focal point of the lens, and the other ray goes through the optical center of the lens, and any ray that does that does not get refracted. It goes straight on in a straight line. And the two rays converge at a single point. Now, because the rays converge, this type of image that's created can be projected, can be projected onto a screen. And we say that the image is a real image. It's a real image that can be projected. It's also upside down, so we would say it is inverted. It's larger than the actual object itself, so we say that it's enlarged or magnified. And that's really all we need to say actually about that one. It's inverted, upside down, enlarged or magnified. And it's a real image. All good. So this would be used perhaps in a projector to project the, an object onto a screen. Or maybe even in a camera. In fact, it would be a better example because that would be the object you're pointing the camera at. And then it would project the image onto the film or the charge coupled device to produce a digital image. Okay, part C. Now we've got a concave, sometimes called a diverging, lens. So the two rays of light from the tip of the object get diverged by this concave lens, and so because they're diverging rays, they won't meet and it, you can't project the image onto a screen. And so really 
the only thing that could happen here is that we'd have somebody looking at these rays and they would be brought to a focus by the, the eye lens and the eye would think that they came from this point here where they track back and seem, seem to emanate from. And that's where the eye thinks an image is. This image is the, the right way up. It's, it's upright. It's, it's uh, diminished in size. It's, it's a uh, smaller size than the object. Uh, and it is virtual because it cannot be projected. It is an illusion. It appears to be there. So we can describe this as uh, upright. It is diminished. In size and it is virtual. This kind of lens might be used by somebody who is short-sighted. Short-sighted uh, lens correction. And we'll look at another flashcard perhaps about that at a later date. So there we are. Learn this vocabulary so that you can describe the nature of the images produced by these types of lens and this mirror.